My brother, 29 male, got engaged to his fiancée, 28 female, this summer. They're planning on getting married next spring or early summer. They've been working on putting their wedding party together, and they did a video call with me, 32 female, a couple of weeks ago to ask me to be a bridesmaid. I, of course, agreed because I love them both and I'm very happy for them. However, during the call, and after I'd already agreed to be a bridesmaid, my brother dropped a bomb on me. He said he hopes this doesn't cause any issues, but he wants to ask my ex-husband, 30, to be one of his groomsmen. My initial reaction was not the best. I basically said, what? Why? Are you serious? What the heck? For some history, my ex and I were high school sweethearts and married young. We were both 23 when we married and divorced by the time we turned 25. There was no infidelity or abuse of any kind, just a toxic relationship. We were too young to recognize properly, and eventually we got to a point in our marriage where we just hated each other. Thankfully, we never had kids and we were too young to have many assets, so the divorce was easy since neither of us wanted to do anything with the other. I moved away, got a new job, and started a new life. My ex stayed in our hometown, where my brother currently lives. I haven't spoken to my ex in almost five years. Obviously, my brother has known my ex for a long time and they were always close. Apparently, they remained close friends after the divorce, even though my brother never mentioned it to me. My brother told me that he understands this might be a bit awkward, but it's just for one day and it's not like my ex and I will have to walk down the aisle together. He said they try to do whatever they can to keep distance between us if needed, but that my ex and I are very important people to him and he wants both of us involved in his wedding. I know a lot of people will probably call me petty and immature, but I want nothing to do with my ex. There's a reason I haven't spoken to him in so long. I have no desire to speak to him, let alone be in the same wedding party as him. There'll be a lot of wedding party activities that will involve being in close proximity to him for extended periods of time. I want nothing to do with that. I explained all of this to my brother and told him that if he's going to keep my ex as a groomsman, I don't think I can be a bridesmaid and I might have to reconsider even attending the wedding. This led to a lot of back and forth with my brother, trying to bargain with me and convince me that it wouldn't be that big of an issue and me telling him this was non-negotiable for me. Since that conversation, I've been contacted by our other sister, 26, and my mom pretty much telling me to grow up, that I'm being petty and immature, and that I can handle being in the same general area as my ex for a short period to support my brother. Am I the idiot for refusing to go to my brother's wedding? It's his day. Your brother can invite whoever he wants to participate, but you don't have to accept the invitation. Everyone likes to crow that line about blood is thicker than water, so maybe your brother could consider who's most important to him at his wedding. Not the idiot for choosing not to go if your ex is there, and your family is definitely the idiot for failing to understand your position and badgering you about it. I disagree. I don't understand why she wouldn't be willing to attend the wedding. If she's just attending the wedding as a guest, she wouldn't really have to interact with him at all. If she's been away for five years and her brother is close with her ex, I can understand why her brother would want him there. I've been through my own divorce, so I understand not wanting to see your ex. But she could deal with seeing him and not interacting with him for a couple of hours for her brother. The unwillingness to attend the wedding, in my opinion, makes her an idiot. I'm with OP's family. This feels petty. I've been to weddings with my ex. You haven't spoken in five years, so keep not speaking to each other. If he tries to talk, move along and ignore that he's there. OP, take a step back from yourself for a minute. Decline to be a bridesmaid if you're uncomfortable with that. That's a perfectly reasonable boundary. But if you don't go, I think you are the idiot. I've been in my stepdaughter Emily's life since she was a young teen. She's now nearly an adult. My God, has it been rough? She's with us 50% of the time, and when she first moved in, we had a whole conversation about how to make this as easy for everyone as possible. If I have an issue, I'll talk to my husband and he handles all the discipline. This is a double-edged sword. She's as sweet as honey when her dad is there. The moment he's gone, she's an idiot. Her favorite thing to do at the moment is ruin my food. If I'm cooking, she'll dump salt into the stew or other things. It's so frustrating and I haven't been able to catch her. My husband knows and asked about it, but he won't discipline her without proof. So, I set up a mini camera in the kitchen. Today, I made her a cake. Her birthday is in a week, but I was going to surprise her before she returned to her mom. I put them in the oven and she went over, took them out and dumped a ton of salt on top of it. I threw them out and told them that, that was her birthday cake and she's not getting a cake now from me. She tells her father I messed up the cake and won't fix it for her. 
He came home angry at me and I showed him the video. He's now even more angry that I filmed the house even though this has been a problem for a while and he wouldn't do anything. Everyone is calling me a jerk and I don't know now. Should I remake the cake? Edit, I seriously thought I was going insane. Every time I made something it would be wrong. Really, the camera was for my sanity. Not the idiot. You could have handled it better. Serve the cake and show the video simultaneously. I would divorce over this. Father and daughter are not ready for a relationship with another person, which will cost you your sanity. She's nearly an adult. She's too old for this nonsense. Ruining a cake that someone was baking for you and then whining about the natural consequences of not having a cake is ridiculous behavior for someone so close to being an adult. Your husband's the idiot for encouraging this nonsense. He's free to bake a cake himself if he thinks it's warranted. Turn the camera off and don't lift a finger to cook the next time she's in the house. Feed yourself only. They'll soon get the message. OP, your husband is angry because now he's expected to address an issue. Before, it didn't impact him at all. You got stuck with it. If you didn't have evidence, he could just keep ignoring everything. So, of course, he'll be angry with the cameras and not with the wrongdoing. He literally doesn't care what you have to deal with as long as it doesn't impact him. If this is how he'll react to evidence of the wrongdoing, I'd be packing up and staying with my family or friends. If he doesn't support or respect you, he's not worth it. And don't remake the cake. That's not your problem. You didn't cause this. Let her make her own replacement cake. We're not close to start off with. Our relationship has always been full of conflict since we were kids. She's now 26 and I'm 24, female. The invite for her wedding came a few days ago and it came with a note that said if I attend, I wouldn't be seated with family during the ceremony or reception, but at one of the tables with all the extra guests. I won't be in any of the wedding photos either. So reading all this, I was like, cool, I'll RSVP now and have a nice day doing my own thing. I have no interest in attending a wedding where I'll be stuck around people I don't know and celebrating someone I don't like, which is exactly what I did. I sent my RSVP back via a link that was listed on the invite. The rest of my family, even seeing the letter she wrote after they confronted me, believe I'm wrong for RSVPing no. Mom said I could have gone to her and Dad and they would have straightened out the details in the note. My grandparents said I could still enjoy spending time with them and the rest of the family and my aunt said I would raise a lot of eyebrows by not attending my sister's wedding and would make them all look bad. I told them she clearly didn't want me there. I clearly don't want to be there. So why would I go? They all responded that, as an adult, we all do things we don't always want to do, which is fair. But this is an optional thing, in my opinion. They believe I'm wrong and have argued against my decision. They say I should listen to them and think about my actions. Am I the idiot? Not the idiot. Your family fails to process that the invite was passive-aggressive. I will invite you, but make sure you don't feel welcome. And I'm sorry they seem to think that was okay for her to do. And yes, as an adult, we all do things we don't want to do. Your family insisting you be made uncomfortable and unwelcome at a family event shouldn't be one of them. Perhaps your sister wouldn't have thought this was okay if they'd been better parents than adults. Yes, the sister clearly sent an invitation but doesn't want to look like the bad guy. I would raise my eyebrows to see the bride's sister shuffled away from the rest of the family to an exile. Close or not, you're still her sister. She sounds quite mean and if she doesn't even want you in pictures, I wouldn't waste my time on a day to make her feel special. OP, ask them why you're wrong. The answer will be some variation of, because she's your family, in which case she's already given you the perfect comeback. If she's not going to treat you like family, why should you be expected to act like family? Honestly, the dislike is mutual, and she's probably been pressured into sending the invite in the first place. Either that, or she was hoping to rub it in your face. Either way, there are good reasons to stay away. I, 36 male, went to a wedding with my girlfriend, 32 of about 6 months. I didn't really want to go to the wedding with someone I didn't know, but I'm a good boyfriend and did it for her. It was a beautiful wedding and all that jazz. She had fun introducing me to people. Fast forward to the reception. I'm a good dancer. I used to dance competitively. I pride myself on being a good dancer. My girlfriend is average at best. She's beautiful. She has other talents. Dancing is not one of them. We were on the dance floor and I felt like people were looking at us. I get a bit anxious and one of my realizations was that people probably saw how differently my girlfriend and I dance. It was making me a bit self-conscious. Then a line dance song came on and she said she would sit it out because she didn't know it. 
Not knowing anyone at the wedding, I gravitated towards a bridesmaid, 30-ish female, I guess because she looked familiar. I danced next to her in the line dance, and when the song was over, we just started dancing together. She had a great rhythm, and it was fun. She was a bit tipsy and was kind of flirty, but to me, it was just dancing. We danced several more times during the night. No slow dancing, obviously. I felt much better dancing with her because she didn't make it look so out of sync like my girlfriend. My girlfriend stopped dancing, and I thought it was because she was tired. Later, on the ride to the hotel, she tells me, I flirted with bridesmaid all night. I was stunned. We were dancing. Dancing is not flirting. I told her that I like to dance and that I need someone with a similar skill level if I'm going to be comfortable doing it in public when I don't know people. I know that was mean to say, but it is the truth. I also figured it would eliminate the whole flirting thing, even if it still hurt her feelings. She doubled down and said it sounded like I wanted the bridesmaid because she's a good dancer. I admitted that I am attracted to good dancers because who isn't? But that wasn't a deal breaker for me and my girlfriend and I would never have made a move on the bridesmaid. It was just dancing. Apparently, even a couple of her nosy friends commented on it. I guess the bridesmaid is known for being a bit of a promiscuous person, but I wasn't into her. I feel like it's harmless fun. Girlfriend seems to feel like dancing is not just dancing. I'm scared we'll break up over this. Am I the idiot for dancing with the bridesmaid or being honest with my not-so-great-of-a-dancer girl? You are the idiot. It's incredibly disrespectful. It's inconsiderate of your girlfriend's feelings to not even think about whether she might, I don't know, want to spend time with you instead of watching you dance with a random bridesmaid. She had to endure countless comments asking why you were paying more attention to that bridesmaid than her. Had to wonder when you were going to stop dancing with another girl to spend time with her. Also, the line, not knowing anyone at the wedding, I gravitated towards a bridesmaid, 30-ish female, I guess because she looked familiar or whatever, raised my eyebrows a bit. Gravitated towards this particular bridesmaid because she looked familiar? As in, she was standing next to the bride at the ceremony, so she's the only familiar face on the dance floor. I'll go dance with her, I guess. Sure, buddy. The fact he thinks people care about his dancing skills is hilarious. But let's take dancing out of it. He spent all night hanging out with a flirty woman who wasn't his girlfriend. Then he's shocked, shocked, I tell you, that his girlfriend was upset. And then he insulted her by comparing her unfavorably to the flirty woman. Even if he wasn't into the bridesmaid, which he admits he was, he prioritized his desires over his girlfriend's feelings, abandoned her, got defensive, and lashed out when called on his BS. That's just incomprehensibly stupid. What an idiot. A 36-year-old idiot. LMAO. I just can't stop picturing a full-grown adult at a random wedding. I just have to dance in there. I'll show them. You are a moron for thinking anyone gives a crap about your girlfriend's merely average dancing, undermining the marvellous spectacle of your far superior dancing. Your anxiety about this is bizarre, and your willingness to hurt your girlfriend's feelings to feed your ego is troubling. You're almost 40. Get help. I, female 26, have three older siblings. This is about my oldest sister, Abby, 37. Abby has a son, kindergartner, and I have a daughter, toddler. Abby dealt with years of fertility issues and had probably 10 plus losses. Then she had her son. Of course, he was Abby's miracle rainbow baby. We were so happy for her. But then it leads to Abby spoiling her son and letting him get away with everything because he's a miracle and he's special. Because of that, everyone has always bit their tongue when it comes to her son. On Saturday, I had my daughter's birthday party. It was mostly family and a few of my close friends were invited. I invited Abby and her son because everyone else in our family was invited, so I felt bad excluding her. We had different activities for the kids to do. Abby's son didn't like any of them. He was upset none of the presents were for him. He didn't want to eat any of the food we had. He then decided to try and push the cake off the table because he was mad the cake wasn't his. I got super upset at Abby for allowing her son to act that way. She went on to say her son is special. I said her son is only special to her, which is understandable, but to everyone else he's a spoiled brat, which shouldn't be overlooked because he was your special miracle baby. Abby called me a witch and left crying. A few family members have since called me an idiot because I've never dealt with a miscarriage, so I don't understand how painful it was for Abby to deal with years of that before her son. It's not that I don't realize her son is special to her, but it doesn't give the excuse for Abby to allow him to act like a spoiled brat. Not the idiot, and you're 100% correct. While he is her miracle baby, 
No one else in the world will coddle him except her, and she's raising him to be a spoiled, entitled brat, which will only bring him issues later in life. He needs manners and discipline, and your sister needs a wake-up call. What will she say to the police when he gets arrested for bad behavior? But officer, he's my miracle baby. He didn't mean to steal, assault someone, whatever stupid thing he did, because he thinks he can get away with it. She should realize this now than when he's older, and there are real-life consequences to his actions. How much hate do you have for your kids that you refuse to teach them the basic skills of living in society? Tell the flying monkeys that your sister is harming her child by not preparing him for living with others in the same society. The kid will go to school soon, and it'll be hard for the kid if mom doesn't get her head out of her butt. I don't know why people cannot say everyone's the idiot here in situations where it's obvious that everyone's the idiot here. Your sister's son acted inappropriately, and apparently she didn't stop him, which sucks. But telling her that her son is a spoiled brat is uncalled for. In addition to that, it's not helpful. If you can tell someone lovingly that what they're doing is wrong, then maybe they'll listen to you. But if you go on the offensive, it puts them on the defensive, and nothing is accomplished. Rather than trying to view this through the lenses of an adult, parent, aunt, etc., you're calling your nephew names. There's likely more to the story than you're sharing.